Hello to all the juniors. Uh, welcome to our channel. So if you have clicked this video, this would be very very useful to you all. As you can see from the thumbnail and the title, I am going to discuss some important questions which would be arising in the tomorrow's exam. Okay, so this is the second sem mathematics for Tripoli stream. This is the question paper. So you would be thinking that which question paper is this? This is my personal question paper. I am a senior of uh, which I am currently passed out my 6th sem. Now I am the next time uh, going to the 7th sem. And this is my 2nd sem max question paper of 2022 scheme. Why I have uh, uh, taken this uh, video because uh, the model paper was same which was which you people have was same for us also. So that's why uh, this question paper I have uh, my question paper I had I have uh, uh, taught to show you to show it to you guys and uh, let you know about how the questions would be arising okay in this video so those who have clicked this video it could be very beneficial for them so those who have uh, come to this video please like this video each and everyone i want everyone to like this video i am keeping a target of about uh, 100 likes and subscribe to our channel and share this information just one day before exam everybody studying under triple e stream mathematics 2 should be knowing this okay so with my experience, I have a, a two years of teaching experience now uh, in this video academy channel. I have already taught your seniors of third sem and fifth sem and sixth sem. All the you could be seeing by my videos. Okay, from last two years, I am making this channel. So with my experience, I am going to tell you that which kind of questions would be appearing for mathematics two and how you could be passing this subject. Oh, simple passing package which and all are the sure short questions you need to be studying from all the five modules i'm going to be telling in detail in this video okay so stick till the end guys don't skip any part of the video okay this is very very important please like this video before you go further i i am keeping a target of 100 likes i know you people would be doing it just one day before exam few hours left for the exam so let us get to the video now so this question paper you could see the subject code is the same that is BMAT E201 for second sem mathematics 2. So we have 5 modules. So each module let us try to discuss the questions which I had in my question paper. Okay. So module 1 uh, the first question was find the angle between direction to the normals of the surface. So this one question you could be definitely expecting from module 1 to find the angle. Okay. Angle between question for one, one question would be definitely asked and note that there would be three sub questions in each one in math subject okay there won't be any question for 10 marks the maximum marks you could be uh, allotting for a, a question was question is to be seven marks okay not more than that so keep that in mind so for this one question will be definitely asked and one question related to curl and divergence as mentioned here one b uh, find divergence and curl of f for one particular question they would be mentioning you okay so one question would be definitely asked on that as well divergence and curl and one question is sure shot they would be asking for uh, Green's theorem okay so in this this is the question they have asked that is integral of uh, y minus sin x dx plus cos x dy where c is the plane triangle enclosed by the lines y is equal to 0 and x is equal to pi by 2 okay so uh, this one question from Green's theorem you could be definitely expecting it so in the model paper also there are a few questions related to Green's theorem we have already solved the model paper uh, go and see that playlist in that uh, the Green's theorem problem we have solved it also our uh, conceptual videos in that many problems we have discussed with respect to Green's theorem so that playlist also would be available in the our playlist section go and access it okay so this is one question Green's theorem so the sure shot question from module 1 you should be expecting is one I have told you angle between angle question would be asked definitely one more is divergence and curl question would be definitely asked one more is Green's theorem so these three set of questions practice very well see all the problems because if you you could be definitely expecting these three questions and easily you could be scoring 10 marks in module 1 okay so 10 marks are over from module 1 and one question you if you want you can skip this uh, program part is not necessary to learn you want if you want to pass this you can skip okay one question they would be asking for sure that was the same question 2c okay 2c and 10c uh, note that in mind one is 2c question and another one from module 5 10c question are program questions okay i'm i'm uh, signing it right now and uh, telling it to you guys that you cannot change at all for many years the pattern is the same 2c and 10c are the program questions okay so no need to be worrying that which and all i've told you keep that in mind next is module 2 module 2 again vector space and linear transformation one question definition question would be definitely asked that is uh, defining either a subspace linear space anything would be asked and this is the 
question that is show that intersection of any two subspaces vector v is also a subspace of v so this question is was repeated uh, multiple times in the previous year paper as well as this paper so uh, there is high chances that one question would be asked and one question from this module is fixed that is the linear independent or dependent question so here they have asked you see show that this set with three vectors are linearly dependent or independent so that one question is definitely asked one more question is with, is with respect to the linear transformation one question is with respect to linear transformation one is linear dependency and one is related to the rank nullity theorem these three questions if you study thoroughly from this module easily you would be scoring marks again from 10 to 12 marks you could be expecting from this module as well so now let's get to module 3 module 3 is very important and uh, since there are a lot of concepts from module 3 so there are very less chances that the questions would be repeated but still I have some sure shot questions that were repeated multiple times in the previous paper I am going to tell you which and all are that one is one question that is 5a fix it, fix it is it would be definitely asked that is two sub questions that is directly they would be giving you two terms for that you should be finding the Laplace transform okay in part a in the first option Laplace transform in the second 6abc one of the question would be related to the uh, partial fraction inverse Laplace transform okay keep that in mind one partial fraction question from inverse Laplace transform would be fixed and one more question in the same part they would be asking for convolution theorem okay in this they have asked this question you see here 6b this is multiple times repeated okay so the same question you could be expecting for tomorrow's exam as well that is finding l inverse of s divided by s square plus a square the whole square so this i have already solved it in my model paper solution also it's available in my conceptual video also it's available so along with that one more question is there that is 1 divided by s cube into s square plus 1 okay so this is also multiple times repeated these two questions for convolution theorem any one of them would be fixed asked okay so keep that in mind which and all i've told you sure short questions one is uh, partial fraction in the inverse laplace transform one is laplace transform that is uh, any two functions would be definitely asked with respect to two properties two sub questions and one more is related to convolution theorem mainly focus on these two questions okay and one more you could be expecting that is related to the uh, applications of ODE one question would be asked applications of ODE that is a uh, uh, ordinary differential equation set of terms are there so we have solved few problems in model paper as well as conceptual videos go and refer at uh, refer those videos okay so these are the sure short concepts from module 3 if you know the step by step analysis easily you could be scoring 10 to 12 marks from module 3 as well so the passing marks are already covered in these three first three modules right from module 1 I have told you sure short 10 to 12 marks questions from module 2 also I have told you sure short uh, 10, uh, 10 marks questions so total 12 plus 10 became 22 and from this also one 12 mark question so it is nearly equal to 34 so passing marks is 35 from these three modules it is covered right now the upcoming two modules module 4 and 5 are the easiest 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 modules because we have only few number of concepts from module 4 and 5 whereas in module 4 we have two chapters one is numerical differentiation and integration under uh, differentiation we have few set of methods so one is regular falsi method newton raphson method and uh, and then we have newton's uh, divided difference and interpolation and lagrange interpolation under integration again we have three set of methods one is trapezoidal simpsons 1 by 3 and simpsons 3 by 8 so under this category only the questions should be asked all these things are very easy direct questions so you could be expecting uh, multiple times repeated questions so from module 4 one question is fixed from regular falsi as well as newton raphson okay so you see here which, which is the question which is asked here that is find the real root of s log base 10x is equal to 1 by 1.2 so this same question is repeated uh, around two to three times in the previous year papers also the last year also it was repeated so that's why uh, this question you could be uh, mainly focusing on uh, under regular falsi and one more question is Newt newton raphson method again uh, this one question is there that is find the real root of x tan x plus 1 is equal to 0 which is near to x is equal to pi so this also was repeated in the last year as well as this question paper so Again, practice these two questions from module 4. One is for regular falsi and Newton Raphson, 7a and 8a. Okay. So, this question paper, I'm going to put it in the uh, video's uh, description also. Go and uh, check it out. Okay. So, one question regular falsi, Newton Raphson is sure. Then, uh, one question related to Lagrange interpolation would be definitely asked. 
okay that is uh, here 7 c you see here uh, they would be telling giving you one table to find the lagrange interpolation you uh, you expect around 4 to 5 interval questions okay six interval question they won't be asking because that would be a very lengthy uh, procedure so they would be knowing that students would be taking a lot of time in that so that's why they won't be asking for uh, six intervals maximum five and minimum three or four okay so here they have asked for five intervals you see here so one question you expect from lagrange interpolation the values i guess they won't be repeating but still for the reference you can take this question okay 7c so and one more question is related to trapezoidal simpson's one third or simpson's three by eight mark my words trapezoidal won't come trapezoidal rule question will not come at all either simpson's one third rule or simpson's three by eight rule would be asked uh, other than that no other question would be asked okay so for module 4 which and all i have told you regular falsi newton raphson uh, lagrange interpolation and simpson's 1 by 3rd or 3 by 8 if you study these many things easily you could be scoring marks again newton's forward and backward interpolation uh, question would be asked but uh, uh, you could skip that rest, rest which and all i have told you if you want to pass this easily you study these things okay so Next is module 5. Module 5 again, own numerical methods to only 4 methods are there. Only 4. One is Taylor series, modified Euler's method, Runge Kutta method, and Milne's predictor corrector method. Only 4 methods, all the 4 methods, one one problem would be definitely asked. Okay. And the problems are not of various kinds here. So, which are all problems are asked here in all the 9A, 9B, 9C, 10A, and 10B? All the 5 problems are very important ones. So, here they have asked for Taylor series. Runge Kutta, Milne's predictor. Okay. So modified Euler's method, they won't be asking. Okay. If you study any three methods out of four, any three methods, if you study thoroughly, uh, you could be easily scoring not even uh, uh, for 10 to 12 marks, full marks you could be scoring. Okay. Because uh, three of the methods would be definitely asked in one sub question. Okay. So which and all are the three methods which I prefer you to study is I will be telling you it would be definitely asked in one single question that is one is Taylor series Runge Kutta and Milne's predictor character so modified Euler's method you don't need to study so focus on mainly these three questions 9a 9b and 9c from this question paper okay so program but as I've told you, you could be skipping it again you as, as I've told you 2c and 10c are completely for program only only the program questions are 2c and 10c in every question paper you see Question number 2C and question number 10C are program only. So you could be skipping that part. So this was the detailed analysis from all the five modules. Once again, I'm I'll summarize which and all you need to be studying. Module 1, I've told you one angle between question, one divergence and curl question. So note it down if you are uh, if you want to uh, note it down in one paper and uh, paper or what you could be noting it down. One angle between, one is divergence and curl, one is Green's theorem. These three concepts, if you study thoroughly, easily you could be scoring 10 to 12 marks from module 1. So, uh, calculate it 12 marks from this module, okay. So, then we have module 2. Module 2, which and all I have told you, one is linear independent or dependent, then linear transformation and rank nullity. These three concepts study thoroughly would be uh, coming for the exams. So, from this module also easily you could be scoring around 10 marks, okay. So, total it became 22. Now, module 3. Module 3, which and all I have told you, it would be appearing. One is inverse Laplace transform in that partial fraction method. One question, one simple question would be asked. Then the convolution theorem, these two questions, okay, any one of them would be asked. One is uh, L inverse of S divided by S square plus A square the whole square and 1 divided by S cube into S square plus 1. Okay, these two variety of questions, study thoroughly. You, you would be definitely, uh, uh, it would be definitely asked. And one more question is related to the uh, applications of ODEs. Again, if you know these methods thoroughly, uh, you could be easily scoring around uh, 12 marks in this subject, uh, in this uh, module also. So, total it became 34. Now, from module 4, again, which and all I have told you, which are very important ones, regular falsi, newton raphson and Lagrange interpolation and Simpson's 1 by 3rd or 3 by 8 okay so these four methods if you study thoroughly they would be definitely asking you the questions and uh, nothing much to do direct substitution if you remember the formula directly you could be answering okay again from this 115 marks you could be expect expecting from this also so total it became 34 plus 15 49 and module 5 also the three methods uh, out of four the three important methods which i have told you one is taylor series runge kutta and 
Milnes predictor corrector. So modified Euler's method you could be skipping and uh, they would be asked in one question only that's for sure. Okay. So from this also you could be expecting full marks 20 but uh, let us uh, not uh, keep be greedy and let us not keep 20 let us keep again 15. So how much it became total 15 plus 15 30 plus 12 42 42 plus 10 52 plus 12 64. So estimatingly around 65 marks I have simply leaked for you guys okay simply leaked I, uh, you could be expecting this question paper as one standard paper for tomorrow's exam referring this paper this type of questions would be definitely asked for tomorrow's exam okay because they follow a pattern with you people that is they would be taking the previous year papers and they would be just uh, keeping the question as it is the same but the values they would be slightly changing it okay so that's why this paper would be very very essential for you guys to refer so which and all have uh, ticked in this paper uh, question mark which and all questions are that have ticked all those questions are very important ones so this paper i'm going to uh, uh, Take the photo and put it in the video's description. Go and access it. Okay. So for other steps related to mathematics, uh, mathematics two, uh, just few hours before exam, we have already created the detailed course playlist where we have covered module one, two, and three. Uh, module four and five is not available because I didn't had time to do. But for module four and five, model paper solutions are available for uh, both the sets. That is model paper one and two. Uh, we have already made the videos separate playlist is available go and check it uh, we have solved all the model paper solutions okay excluding the program part so these many things are already covered from m2 so those who are new to this channel please make a good use of it and uh, share this information with your friends like this video guys okay support us guys subscribe to our channel and uh, let us uh, all pass this exam together in the flying colors okay all the best for your exams guys do well thank you